And time to wake up on this Tuesday morning. Wake up. It's about 60 to 63 degrees out there, depending on where you are this morning. It feels quite nice. Wet roads, though. We've got 60% chance of rain today. JC? And it's about time to get this party started on a Tuesday morning. Zach's done come in jumping all over me this morning. Yes, but I'll has. get to that point in just a moment. Good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us on a lovely, glorious Tuesday morning here at Athens, Alabama. We're going to talk tourism in just a little bit. Buzz has already got his sweatsuit on this morning. Teresa just walking in the studio. Tom joins us this morning. How was things on the loveliest village on the plane? War, War Eagle. War Eagle, yeah. Oh, boo! <laughs> Oh, wow. Tom, you are a traitor. <laughs> Tom's a traitor. Gloria's well, trying to lay out. I'm trying to watch the ball game uh, Saturday. And I'm saying, dang, we can, we can beat ourselves. <laughs> this part That's of the all kitchen right. brought to you he by Hometown more. Market, five locations, one near you. Here's Gloria with the weather. <laughs> we do actually have 60% chance of rain in the forecast today. In fact, there's uh, some areas where it's drizzling out right now, and a lot of you heard some thunder last night. But we've got rain in the forecast for sure today, on and off throughout the day, with high temperatures around 75, your low of 46. Tomorrow, no rain to worry about, with temperatures around 74, full sunshine, absolutely beautiful, 47 for that low. Of course, brought to you by Marmac Real Estate. Call them to list your home today. Get those on the internet. Get them all spruced up just in time for summer to roll around. And let's also talk about the rest of the week. Looks like uh, Friday is a 30% chance of showers. So that's our next day for rain with temperatures. Check it out. 80 for your high, 76 for your low on, or your high rather, on Saturday. So just getting a little better inch by inch by inch. Of course, it is Earth Day today. Lynn Hart will be joining Ooh. us. And I thought it was Saturday. She is here. She is. That's the actual event. But today is actually Earth Day. That might be a good time for me to, huh? <laughs> good time for me to eat this chocolate bunny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Abby got me time? the other day. Hey, I know what. I'll still give it. it to Dusty. Yeah. He, yeah. Man he who loves chocolate. One. Speaking of Lindsay Lane Baptist Church, give a <laughs> shout out to Dusty. Did a super job Sunday. We had a ball. There he is right there. We had almost just about maybe 20 or 30 shy of 2,000 in service. And I hope everybody's kids that dropped them all back in the <laughs> nursery where Gloria was in charge, me and her, with seven. Abby, Maddie was one of them. They're all about two. It's amazing how long a second service seems to last. <laughs> you know? we had it seemed like control. eternity. Oh, my goodness. Case, this one little boy. I mean, I swear he's going to be the next linebacker for Boy. Alabama yeah. or Auburn. Boy. It's just amazing. I took him out Cute. in that buggy, wheeled him around out, down, up, and down. I don't guess nobody cared. They're all in church. They care enough. <laughs> Let's hit him up the green light this morning. Zach, Scary I'm saying Bama almost beat themselves. Didn't show me uh, squat. I, you just like a bunch of Alabama fans I heard all weekend on Facebook, uh -huh. a tighter inside. So tell me what's not true about that. They only show 10% of the offense. You think Nick Saban's going to sit there and let all these coaches have their grad assistants, whatever, watching film on us and showing this is what we're going to do this year? No. <laughs> we're, we didn't show them nothing. So you're saying, you're saying we were deceived. Everybody, I heard people always saying, man, that Lane Kiffin was a terrible hire. Are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> or, I mean, really, are you kidding me? Are you take that out of one spring game, then you need to join up on another team because Nick Saban knows what he's doing. We'll be back. Okay, little Nick. We will win. Right. He got all that from Nick the other day. We will win number 16. Well, there's Zach. Zach's on the left. That's Nick on the right. Those are the only photos we have of Nick told me not to Showman. worry. Showman. Told you not to worry. Showman. But now, Tom, hold it. Y'all were at the big scoring game. Oh, yeah. Zach, where y'all left at like 3 or 4 in the morning. What <laughs> guy's awful short? Uh, <laughs> that's D Ford there. That ain't D Ford. That's no. that's the guy ran the Oh, oh Chris, yeah, back. Chris Davis. Hey, Tom, you know, I don't even know him. <laughs> yeah, that's Chris Davis. He said he had to get a picture of him where Jamie can see him. Yeah. Uh, he, he went by him so fast. Well, that, that, that's a pretty good crowd down there, too. Yeah, they really say 72,000. Yeah. Not as many as Tuscaloosa. Hey, I had the best that show I've ever had. go to the game. I didn't go to the game, but I was there in spirit. And well, we all are spirit till I quit watching it because it got boring. We, we sat on the 50-yard line, oh, 22 rows up. Long year. About the best seat I've ever had. 
Yeah. <laughs> hey, let me go through a few photographs Good. this morning before I forget it. Whip up what's next, and I'll tell you. That's the girl down oh, at the hometown. Good. She's a little bit taller than me. She's a lot taller. She we actually did there our Friday. show. She said she did our she show in Florence or here? She was 12 years old when she did the show. Of course, yeah. that was in Florence. Right. Hometown market. We stopped in there and About grabbed a bunch of Easter foods. Y'all, don't get the pharmacy is <laughs> open there, too, now. And we were in Stanford. This lady here lives down off Market Street, Tom. She's 88 years old. Yes. Marita Johnson. Uh-huh. 88 years old, over and enjoying a fine lunch at Stanfield's when I was over on my weekly visit Friday, hanging out. So uh, she told me some good stories about how she loves watching she cozy really television. Mm-hmm. She and her good. daughter were having lunch. Zach, what else shaking? Well, a few sick folks. Uh, well, you going to hit that already? Well, I can. It don't matter. I'm, I'm talking Ray about Gold. Alabama over day day. Ray Gold, Ray Gold, Ray Gold. Yeah. Let yeah let's get on, get on Ray, right, Gloria. You better go to the doctor. I go mean, Jamie's a doctor appointment today. You want me to make That's you That's because I've been sick for three years. I've been <laughs> yeah. trying to tell you. I hate to ride it on my cough, and I told y'all I was sick. Yeah. <laughs> huh? he, I told him he needs to go, so Glory, I'm glad Gloria got on to him. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I got a mental illness. What? Well, it's not that doctor I'm taking. Well, it's a to different yet. doctor you're going to take. Yeah. All right. Yeah, have y'all heard about the newest <laughs> thing about how to what? go to a ball game or whatever? I mean, this is all over Fox News. Shepard had it yesterday. I had it over the weekend. One lump or two, Frank, how any what? drink can be given that extra kick with powdered alcohol. This is unbelievable. Called Palcohol has been approved by the government. Crazy. Hmm. That, that's really going to, that is you so much You can sprinkle trouble. it on food. <laughs> you can sprinkle it on in a drink. Each pack is like you a You can get, of no alcohol. offense, Buzz, but you can get a Buzz <laughs> eating a burger. Hmm. And possibly, if you're desperate, you, yes, can even snort it. They said for, at first you could snort it. Now they're saying don't do that. It will That's cause because problems. they've already come out and said How many idiots are going to do that? You can a get bunch. tequila, vodka, <laughs> rum. Well, what do you do? Cosmetology. Just put it in your salt container Cosmetology. and just add like a salt. You put none. Oh yeah. Food. Really? Now, I mean, like they said now it, ball games will never be the same. The alcohol contains around 60% range, uh, oh. and it says the powder can be snorted. How easy would that be to smuggle in places? Mm. Huh? Or slip on somebody? Wait, Zach. Zach. How about the team? What if some? What if I sprinkled some on, on a donut or something? You was eating one more, and you went to work drunk. That's awful. Well, then I'd probably get fired, and uh, I'd be saying I need a job, Johnny. <laughs> well, you'd be here full time. Then, well, wouldn't I'd be here full time then. What can you do, Zach? Well, I mean, you try to plead your case, but say, hey, somebody oh, drugged me. Zach. Somebody, somebody drugged me. Zach, let me ask you this. Now, the other day, did I? The other day, we were talking about women not shaving under their arms. Did you not say that? It seems right now because you're in the. You know, you're looking for a woman. A that you would category. date a woman with a little fuzz on her? He did say I, that. Did, did, did you or did you not say that? that? I, said, I said, I'm. well, I don't have anybody right now. You so. Well, you said you wouldn't kick them out of bed for eating crackers, right? I didn't right. say that, Dave. Right. <laughs> a little hair on a woman under her arms and stuff would, would do Ew. great. <laughs> That guy found you a date. No, oh. my goodness. I'm dreading seeing oh. this. Flip her up here, Brad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> now, this woman here has a lays beard. claim. Well, now, Buzz, you've got a nice little wool going, beard going on there around your face. This woman may have you beat. She holds the record for be having the most hair on her face than any woman in the world. Right? Jeez. Twelve inch wow. beard. Is that one of the ladies that travel with oh, the Oh, my goodness. Obviously, look at the yeah. yeah. No, I don't. I, I, that one doesn't interest me. Y'all shave together. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? No, Jamie, that does not interest me at all. If, if you like to travel, she'll be the one to go with. <laughs> oh, she can be my bodyguard, no doubt. I mean, Zach, come on, give me a, what do you think about that? I'm not too impressed with that. I think that. he's going to stay single. I'm sure somebody, somebody loves her, but that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one. They just sprinkled out of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> it had to sprinkle something on me, Buzz. Hey, uh, we really need to talk about Rolando McClain giving up football again. Oh, again. Who cares? I mean, this guy could be one of the best players in the NFL, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But he decides. We were talking last night. He just don't want to work hard enough. He don't want to spend the time and the energy. So he's just taking his stuff and going home. He's staying in Tuscaloosa. He's at least he's staying waste. out of Decatur. But that's, that's a shame, Jamie. He's retired for good, he said.
Well, I reckon how much that money still got left, that $23 million that <laughs> well, he got. I'm hoping he's invested some of it. Hey, anybody here a bowler? I know I'm not. Not me. Get the 87-year-old Decatur bowler out of Decatur today. He came close to bowling a perfect game. Yeah. Uh, Mitchell Blackwood here. So his hair may be gray, but he, April 4th at the Wednesday afternoon, Young at Heart League at the River City, the 80 year old flirted with a perfect game and just missed an 800 series. He rolled a 279, Tom, and a 779 series. Goodness. Wow. Ain't that pretty good? It yeah. is. <laughs> Real good. I have never got that close. So the really odds of a 300 game are said to be 11,500 to ones. I think like 147 is the highest so, I've ever done. Quit. Go lay down. But it said he, he he's not a bowler who flirts with a 300 game all the time, but he averages about 177 a game. Zach, do you bowl or is the ball too big? I used to bowl. I got a bowling ball. I had haven't bowled in years. You can I used get to go when the Athens had a bowling alley years ago. We used to have a league years ago, but that's been a long time ago. Uh -huh. Really? It's probably been about 10 years since I bowled. Well, what else is happening in the world, Zach? Well, we, we mentioned my Uncle Ray. Hope he gets better. Uh, my little cousin, his his daughter, Macy Garrett, who we have had on showed her picture for, she's still six months old and only six pounds. Mm. And she's got to have some surgeries next week. So Did you see that country 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 six months old and six, six pounds? Pi six pounds. She's, that lady she's having the, a lot of health issues. Ugh, man. Wow. So, and uh, Judy Vasher, my buddy Jay's mama, she's she still has some issues and having some more tests done today, so keep her in your prayers. Uh, Brad, Brad's cousin, Austin Golson, who was in line to be the starting right tackle at Ole Miss, has transferred, said that he's doing it because his granddaddy's sick. Looks like he could be going to Auburn. Hmm. So Auburn could get him a very good tackle. He, he was originally going to Florida State, and Ole Miss flipped him, but Brad said that they, he always grew up Auburn fans, so we'll, we'll watch that closely and see if he ends up at Auburn. Uh, Greg McElroy was not too happy with A.J. McCarron's comments. You hear that, Jamie? No, I heard it from you this morning. You're but today, the uh, he said, A.J. said, you know, a lot of the young guys were complacent, you know. Well, why am I complaining about what happened Saturday? They you say I'm like everybody else. Yes. There was a lot of people complaining that they didn't like what they saw. It was boring. It yeah, was I mean, boring. if anybody's ever went, since Nick Saban's been there, every A-Day game's been pretty much boring. I mean, he does not show anything. It's very vanilla. Just because things I saw when I went down there are not a lot of things we ran Saturday. So that's why I'm telling Alabama fans, so you say we be, be, be prepared for some exciting things. Back here, we go fishing. He has hope. I haven't fished in years. So, you know. uh, last time, one of the last times I fished, my buddies threw me in the water trying to get me to swim, and I couldn't swim. <laughs> you so can't swim either? I couldn't stand up in four foot of water, so they had to come, go in and rescue me. I oh. thought I told that story before. No, I didn't know you that was, I was about him. 20 years ago. I was, well, no, I was about the guy in my early 20s. You hear about the guy down in Florida? Caught, everybody oh, thought God. it was a hoax. Rex Free sent this yeah. to us, and I found it on my... This guy caught this shark that weighs almost 900 pounds, put it in the back of his pickup truck. It wouldn't hardly fit. Uh, they barbecued it that night for the neighbors. Look at it. He caught that thing, put it in the back of his truck, yeah. used 900 uh, feet of line trying to growl it. He tried to keep it quiet. It was a wreck. What he pulled up at a gas station, had it in the back of his truck. Why did he try to keep it quiet? <laughs> Wouldn't you want everyone to know? And it's a re it's a state record, I believe, but they, they barbecued it, Tom. Hmm. Huh? How does that taste? Frank, why don't you ever, when you catch those uh, crappie out at Blakely's, why don't you ever bring up here and share some food with us, man? I'll catch you enough. Yeah, well, you don't catch nothing like that. That's a, Zach, I got a special story for you coming up here in just a moment. Uh -oh. But right now, on this There's Tuesday morning, back. I'm going to take a break. Be right back in just a second. Y'all mm -hmm. hang on. I'm scared. Local to love me. 